Neither team has played in over a week. They've taken some time off for finals, so an interesting time to get back on the court. Two and a half gone by. And just a 2 nothing lead for the visitors here. Pitt looking to get on the board, on their home floor, off the basket and in. At their best, especially Xavier Johnson. Really gets in the lane, gets to the free throw line, puts pressure on the defense. Lost two in a row right before their break for finals. They went on a swing of Northern California and dropped games to St. Mary's and at UC Davis as McGowan's leaps, banks, and hits. Got to have your hands up. And Low shot clock, you know where it's going. That time he gives it up. Shot clock at five, and the deep three goes down. Clock at six. There's their leading scorer, German. Can hit it from downtown, and he has to launch one. And he buries it. You see, it's the end of the shot clock here. Nice quick step back move. Uh, Justin Champagne, get any closer to him, you're going to foul him. That's just a great offensive play by Eugene German, and that's why he's on the verge of scoring 2,000 points. Willing to pass the ball, he just he draws so much attention that you have to pay so that you have to pay attention to him, and, and it leaves other guys open. And McGowan's the most emphatic play so far here. And Xavier Johnson all the way to the rack. Success at the end of last year, and was really putting pressure on himself to lead this team. And he's calmed down, he's relaxed, and he's just playing now. And you can see it's becoming effortless to him. Yet another an easy pass. And Coach Montgomery obviously is going to address this in the next time out. Just not happy with the turnovers. And the worst part about them is they're, they're live ball turnovers. There's no defense able to get back. Midway through our first half, hit with just their second turnover of this first half. German, what a no look pass right at the last second. And the finish by Nathan Scott. Opportunity on the offensive end for this Husky team, Tyler Cochran double team. Nathan Scott staring down a three and he plants it. Scott, one of the top rebounders on this team, he yanks it off the glass. German on the pull up. Eugene German beating the MAC conference in scoring. Literally, is one of those guys you have to pick up when he crosses half court. Today in shoot around, he was shooting with his feet on the blue in the logo. It was pretty impressive to watch. There is Lacey James underneath, the leading rebounder on this team. Three point shooter on this team, but lately just has not been knocking him down. And even though he missed that, Coach Cable will, will be happy with that look. Man. But Eugene German on the <laughs> other end, no trouble jarring that one. Leads all scores with 10 points. Seems the first player into double figures on the night. Pitt, meantime, 0 for their last nice 7 pass. from the field, and that finally comes to an end with authority. Tony feeding Hamilton. They get all over German. He has to distribute. Five on the shot clock. Justin Lee scoping out the three. Huskies 5 of 12 from downtown. Hit 0 for 8 from beyond the arc. Hamilton takes a much shorter route to the basket that time. Point game here in Pittsburgh. Lee going over the top of Audie's Tony. Recognize the mismatch. Challenge it as much as humanly possible. And honestly, sometimes you just got to hope that he misses because he's going to take some, he's going to make some, but you just got to hope that he misses. But good job there by Xavier Johnson going right back down and getting the lane, getting an easy one for Pitt. Covers the ACC like we do. Eugene German staring down the long three. Under a minute to go, first half. Shot clock at seven here. This time drives, kicks. Scott had it blocked from behind. Terrell Brown, the leading shot blocker on Pitt, comes in. Pitt shooting just 32% from the field here in this first half as the seconds wind down. And Trey McGowan's trying to cut into that with the first triple of the game for the Panthers. I know you broke down the tape from that one to give a, a yardstick as to how this one might play out. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't see a lot of film <laughs> from that game. but uh... Pitt only 33% from the field in that first half. Need to boost that here in the second 20. And it's a good start with Eric Hamilton. Hamilton had been averaging a double-double earlier this season. Yeah, it's kind of slowed down recently. German not slowing down, although he got the miss, and McCarty that cleanup. Cultural environment of sports. Everybody gets elevated. Including the elevation of Lacey James for the dunk. 
One of the things head coach Jeff Papel stressed earlier today, the mental toughness of his team has to improve. McGowan's burying the triple there. Chupatino with a big time win, and you know, I, I really don't know. And I don't know if there is one, to be honest. I think that's kind of the answer, is that there's not really just that team that everybody says is come uh, come first weekend in April, they're gonna be in Atlanta at the Final Four. I think it, it really just is that open this year. They're very, very good, but again, I really just don't think there's one team that everybody can say, okay, you can pencil them in for the Final Four. Well, Lacey James starting to heat up. Eugene German with five on the shot clock. Head to head with McGowan's, takes aim at the three, and it cans it. Trying to extend this five point lead. Hardy with a good find underneath for the lead. It's, and it's again, like I said, with a younger team, especially. You know, if you've got an older team who knows that they got to rely on their defense, that's one thing. That's a very welcome sight right there for the people in this building. But uh, now you got to dig in and get some stops here if you're Pittsburgh. Hit three of 16 from beyond the arc, and all three belonging to McGowan's, who leads his team scoring with 15 points. But McCarty, the offensive rebound. Again, just absolute killer for Pitt. You get, they had their choice. They just want anybody except number 10 in black to shoot the ball, and it's been successful in that regard. Shot clock at seven. Lacey James playing with three fouls, finds McCarty along the baseline. It's for their first lead since almost 10 minutes left to go in the first half. With bounce pass. And there it is. Justin Champagny. You see here where they go. We talked about this with uh, not really having that kind of go-to guy. Xavier Simpson sitting over there, uh, Xavier Johnson sitting over there on the bench. Great bounce pass by Ryan Murphy. Northern Illinois here, just make sure you don't give up an offensive rebound. You don't want to foul, and you don't want to give up an offensive rebound. Shot clock at three, and that is a huge basket by Trey McGowitz. Wow. Use it here. Anchorson again, way off the mark from the corner three, and then the alley-oop for Justin Champagny. While Pittsburgh goes on their biggest run late for a nine-point win here at the Peterson Event Center.